Center in Los Angeles. This is CBS 2 News this morning at 430. We have details of the new FDA decision about COVID vaccine boosters as LA County's hospitalization numbers hit a two month low. New rules and access for LAUSD students who are being forced to quarantine. And a dramatic new push from Britney Spears' legal team could make her a free woman next week. But first, a very good morning. It is Thursday. We like to call it Friday Eve, September 23rd. <laughs> Welcome to CBS 2 News this morning at 4.30 and streaming on CBS in Los Angeles. I'm DeMarco Morgan. And I'm Suzanne Marquez. Uh, almost our favorite day of the week. Almost. <laughs> One day away from it, Amber. I know, we're counting down. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Live look right now. This is our Long Beach camera. So I have some good news to tell you. So we've had some really hot days here in the Southland. It is the first official full day of fall and we're starting that cool down period here and that's because that high pressure system that brought us the summer like conditions. Well, it's slowly starting to weaken and we are tracking a low pressure system to the north of us. So still pretty clear. Not a lot of cloud cover just yet. That marine layer is still away from us because again, we have we've had these offshore winds. So 65 degrees will be the high currently for the Long Beach area and you can see we do have some patchy clouds right near the coast of Ventura County everywhere else though. Look pretty clear and then our highs today a lot of the triple digits being replaced by 90s so we're definitely looking at temperatures being knocked down at least 5 to 10 degrees compared to yesterday 74 for the coast 82 for LA and Orange County Metro mid 90s for the valleys the Inland Empire the high desert 70s for the mountains and then with this low pressure system it could become a cutoff low so I'll let you know whether or not we're going to see any rain or moisture in our forecast. Back to you guys. All right, we'll see you then. I want to start with the pandemic and some good news to report this morning with the fight against COVID-19. According to the California Department of Health, COVID hospitalizations in LA County have fallen below 1,000 for the first mm. time since the end of July. According to state figures, there were 991 COVID-positive patients in LA County hospitals as of this morning. The number of COVID-positive hospital patients in LA County has dropped for nine consecutive days and 20 22 of the last 23 days. Well, Suzanne, late last night, a new FDA decision about COVID vaccine boosters. The agency has now granted emergency use authorization for the Pfizer booster shot for seniors and others at risk. But as CBS 2's political reporter Tom Wade explains this morning, the Centers for Disease Control still needs to sign off on the plan, and that could happen by this weekend. To boost or not to boost, the FDA has made its decision, authorizing boosters for up to 22 million Americans who already have their first two Pfizer COVID-19 shots. Seniors and people with weak immune systems go first. Others with chronic debilitating conditions may be next, says CBS News medical contributor and USC professor Dr. David Agus. But what the FDA said was people 65 years of older, six months out from their uh, completion of their vaccines, people with high risk of complications. They haven't really defined that. In the United States, when you look at obesity and major medical issues, that is 60% of the U.S. population right there. The CDC will decide which conditions get priority. Frontline workers could be next after that. Healthcare professionals, people who are uh, potentially teachers, people who work in nursing homes and others. Meanwhile, the Delta variant surge appears to be peaking. Nationally, according to researchers advising the CDC, they say cases and deaths will steadily decline now and continue through March without a significant winter surge. But in states like Kentucky, conditions remain critical. Inside St. Clair Regional Medical Center, ICU beds are full and staff is overwhelmed. The National Guard has been called in to help. You can't ask nurses to take care of any more people than they're already taking care of. Back here at home, Pasadena's health department says they will be ready for booster distribution. What's different about this time is that our supply is ample. So people don't need to be worried because uh, the federal government has the doses necessary to um, give everyone a booster. And hopefully we can phase this in um, bit by bit. And again, the FDA still needs final approval from the